Hello and welcome to my fourth episode of my Magic Leap series. Today I've partnered up with Magic Leap to show you the office of the future using spatial computing. This technology has already transformed the way we see a typical office, replacing our physical tools with projections. One day we're gonna look back at our old offices and desks and be like, did we really used to look at all those monitors and notes and calendars? Oh grandma, what clutter you had. In this episode, I'm going to build the ultimate at-home office using spatial computing and show you some of the possibilities we have at our disposal. And this home office is even more appealing right now when travel for work is difficult or when you'd rather work from home than risk office germs. Oh, glad I put that there. Make sure you guys do this. Like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and click that bell right down there for alerts. Let's head over to my new and improved office. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, hello. Welcome to my spatial computing office. Before I hop on in and show you what I'm seeing, I do wanna show you this Logitech K600 keyboard. It allows me to type and search the web quickly and easily on the Magic Leap headset. And there's a built-in trackpad which allows me to control the mouse on whatever browser I'm looking at. It will automatically switch between the windows. You know what, I've been all talk, but I wanna be all tech, so let's hop on in. I've built a home office that caters to all of my needs, whether it's photo editing, planning out my Instagram feed, referencing YouTube videos, or writing a script. This home office will fulfill everything I need. First off, one of the very cool things about working in Helio on Magic Leap is having the ability of connecting to a desktop. Here I'm using Nutanix Frame to log into a desktop environment, and I can use the resize option to set this desktop window to any size. It really helps this feel like a computer of your dreams sitting right in front of you. Especially in the age of giant curved screens, these are really compelling ways to uplevel your home office using spatial computing. I have access to the entire Adobe Creative Suite, but for now I'll open Photoshop. In addition to this, I've got a script over here I'm writing, it's actually this script, and then I also have music playing in the background with Spotify, and I have my Dropbox open where I'm looking at pictures I wanna post on Instagram. I also have a huge monitor over there with my YouTube video playing so I can reference it for the script I'm working on. With the next software update, you'll be able to download the Desktop Companion app, where you can easily move files or images from your laptop to your device. I uploaded some photos and I created a vision board for what I want my Instagram feed to look like over the next few weeks. I could totally imagine people putting pictures of their friends and family all over their desk. Look at all my friends and family I have. It's funny, they all look the same. I've only concentrated on one workflow with this setup, but it's really just scratching the surface. You can imagine how this setup lends itself to use in finance, being able to have stock data present, have news services streaming, while also being able to access a dozen or so monitors laid out around you, and all with simpler tasks switching between screens. You can also imagine how designers can use this to have persistent data like models and reference images present, or provide context around them for how their designs will live in the physical world. And you can imagine how really anyone at home can use it to switch between research like planning a trip, shopping, or news and music. And with the growth of co-working spaces, think of the potential for devices like this to enable a broad set of functionality while also keeping the physical setup needs ultra minimal. Also, do you have a coworker that you just can't stand? I have a hack for that. Hey Justin, um, so there was a yogurt in the fridge that had your name written on it, but I ate it. Also, I think I'm gonna start calling the gym the gym. Also, I was reading an astrological news article and it Justin, it smacks from work. The future of the workplace is bright. So this is really just the early stages of spatial computing and what we can do already is really amazing. The home office is definitely limited by the number of apps, but since there's a fully functioning browser with Helio and Magic Leap, there's plenty you can do in your home office today. There's actually a really cool app coming out soon called Bar. It's basically a customizable search bar where you can quickly access website bookmarks. When I think of the future of what apps we're gonna have, I think of like a weather app where you put a window on your wall and you can see outside to what the weather is or putting a projection of a calculator on your desk and typing it with your fingers. There are so many possibilities and we've really just scratched the surface. But what I can tell you is that the future of the home office is three-dimensional, clutter-free, 
ever evolving and powered by spatial computing. What apps do you want to see in your home office with spatial computing? Let me know in the comments below. And guess what guys, more Magically videos are coming your way. Stay tuned for that. How do you do that? You subscribe right down there, click the bell for alerts. And if you enjoyed the video, you can give it a like. I'd love that. That's all I've got for you guys today. I'm Justin and I'll take you later. Glad I put that there. Don't make sure to do that. <laughs> make sure you guys do this.